guess I didn't find anything in the end. Oh, well. I found him! Oh, hello, Bethan. Ah, hi, Eddie. So what have you been up to then? Well, I've been helping. I heard that the service today was about the power of the Holy Spirit. And I was looking for it. Because it must be in church, right? Oh, Eddie. What? That's not the that's not how your Holy Spirit works. Oh. It's not something you can find in church. Or perhaps I should say it's not something okay. you can only find in church. Oh. Well, what is it then? The Holy Spirit is God's power in us and it or he or she who is promised to everyone who believes in Jesus. Oh, well, that sounds good. So how do we get it or he or, or she then? Easy. You pray and ask God for God's power and help. It's that simple. Oh, so uh, it's not in the power sockets then? No! Not in a candle? Definitely not. Not in the mixing desk then? No. no. Not even in the photocopier? Yeah. No! No! Oh, Andrew, this will be ever so disappointed. So uh, if I ask God to send the Holy Spirit, I can receive God's power? Yes, Eddie, you can. Great! Then I'll be super ready and I can wear a cape and fly and zap people with my laser eyes and... No, Eddie! No? No, it's not like that. The Holy Spirit helps us become more like Jesus, which in your case will probably, will probably mean being less bitey and eating less cornflakes. Oh, I do love cornflakes. Yes, the Bible says that the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are the things that God's power gives us. Oh, I see. You mean the Holy Spirit helps us become more like Jesus? Yes, yes. and even do the things that he did. Wow, that's amazing. There's only one thing I can say to that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.